it seems like no matter what tank game I play, the sounds are always one of the weakest areas. I'm not really sure why that is, but it almost seems like they put too much effort into some areas and not enough into others. A good example would be War Thunder sounds. Most of the sound effects are pretty good now, but they change practically every other month, and historically haven't sounded that great. Their crew voices are a completely different story. I don't think War Thunder's crew voices have changed at all since they were first introduced, and they don't have a lot of effort behind them. For US tank crew voices, they switch between American and English accents randomly, and there's no real sense of urgency. But with the development of Gunner Heat PC, I'm happy to finally have a tank game with a truly immersive soundscape. For anyone who doesn't know by this point, Gunner Heat PC is an indie tank game being made by a small team, with the game's focus being the late Cold War era. It's meant to be as realistic as possible, but still accessible to the average person. This is reflected in the amazing sound design. Tank combat is incredibly stressful and hectic, so tankers use brief firing commands and responses. Most tank games don't model this, but Gunner Heat PC does. You essentially take the role of the gunner, though you also control the driver's movements. The commander will tell you when he spots an enemy vehicle, what ammo to use, where to turn a turret, and what type of vehicle it is. Once you've fired the round, the commander will tell you where the round hit. Short and over are pretty self-explanatory, but if you hit the tank without killing it, the commander will say doubtful, i.e., it's doubtful the tank is totally disabled. If he says target or target cease fire, that means the vehicle is destroyed, and you can now move on to the next one. There aren't just fire commands though. The loader also has a fair number of lines. He'll tell you when the round is loaded, what round is indexed, and when you're almost out of ammo. In one of my favorite features, crew members actually have an appropriate response when someone gets taken out. Yeah. Compared to my commander saying my gunner got quote-unquote knocked out, in a tone that suggests it's mildly inconvenient, that is a massive improvement. These voice lines are all well and good, but Gunner Heat PC goes the extra mile with them. Based on the severity of the situation, these voice lines will actually change. If you get the drop on an enemy tank, your commander will calmly issue fire commands. If the tank is looking directly at you, the lines will become much more panicked. The TC will now scream at you to shoot, or to keep hitting the target. I know this probably wasn't incredibly difficult to implement, but it really sells the authenticity of what is going on. If you had a T-72 staring down your M60, you'd be pretty shaken too. I have a favorite line of this type, and I heard it when I was in that exact situation. My driver chimed in with this. And of course, the voice lines are only part of the soundscape. The sound effects are pretty fantastic too. The engines have a deep rumble to them, except for the M1's turbine, of course. And the sound of the tracks is quite prominent. That's one thing other games tend to be hit or miss with. All of the gun sounds are punchy and visceral, even the missile launchers. The echo at the end is a nice touch, too. My favorite sound effects by far relate to the turret drive, though. They have a very distinct whining sound, which is pretty true to life. But the best part is how you can hear the turret breaking on abrupt stops. That's break with an AKE, not EAK. If you thought any of this looked or sounded interesting, visit their website or Patreon. There you can get access to either the demo or vertical slice. As for the vertical slice, it has a lot of missions you can play through. They're pretty fun. Any support is greatly appreciated. Not only is the project promising, but they're a hardworking and ambitious team, so they really deserve it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one.